What is up guys, Shadowgale up in here with a new type of video. I posted in uh, my YouTube channel, this kind of question right here, Ice Barrier is one of my favorite decks. Uh, however, that is only because it received the support it desperately needed. What other decks do you think could be your favorite deck if they received just a bit more solid support? Obviously, everybody has those decks that they never thought of that could be their favorite, and I didn't think Ice Barrier would be mine. Uh, but with their new support, I have actually loved playing it in Master Duel, and I'm sure I would love playing it in the TCG if I actually had money to play it. Uh, that being said, what did you guys come up with? What were, what are some archetypes or decks that you think you would enjoy? UA, FA, and Suship. Okay. Melvies are your favorite, and I think they could still, uh, use a little more stuff too. Okay, UA and FA are pretty much for all the sports geeks out there. Uh, that being said, I think the deck is cool, and they have a lot of versatility, but you're right, I do agree on that. They do need some more support before they could probably be just a little bit, uh, just like one of those decks you're like, wow, this deck is amazing. Uh, Sue Ship, uh, I have mixed feelings about Sue Ship, I'll be, I'll be honest. Um, I guess it could use some support because they don't really have any real UR cards either. They're a cheaper deck, so, uh, there's that. And Melfi's, I agree with Melfi's. Uh, Melfi's definitely need some more support. They're one of my favorites as well. I do think Melfi's do definitely need, uh, some support. Just because they do struggle when going second. For the recent event, you've been using Yosenju and Fata Phantasm. I hope we get more support for these two, uh, archetypes, especially Yosenju. You're having so much fun with them. Okay, so the Water, Wind, uh, festival that we have, it's been really fun. But there have definitely been some decks that are bit stronger than others. That being said, Yosenju is a very interesting and unique deck that definitely enjoys being able to utilize normal summoning, even though they're not normal spirit monsters, they go back to your hand. Yosenju, I definitely think could use some more support. Then again, they do have some cards, uh, some support cards with them, uh, like the few pendulum monsters, uh, and uh, when it comes to Phantasm, honestly, Phantasm, I guess they could use support, but they're also very versatile because they one, they're cheap incredibly cheap like they're like just are like rares and commons in master duel but i can get i can see what you're going if there was like more normal card support or normal more normal summon support uh for both you send you and phantasm then yeah i could i could definitely see that evil eye the phhy support already has and ins was insane but unfortunately it wasn't enough to make it completely viable i agree i actually really want a evil eye to be really strong i think that they're a cool archetype uh but yeah, I, I do think that uh, it, it just needs a little bit more, a little bit more of a push or a shove, and then, bam, it could be versatile in law decks. It is splashable in a few other decks, like Unchained, one of those, it's one of those decks, but if it were to stand on its own as a unique and very strong archetype, I do think uh, Evil Eye uh, could just use a little bit more support as well. Rika needs support. Maybe you could link one that searches a Rika card if Link summoned. With a Rika card in another rank 4 that shuffles Rika, banish graveyard cards back to the deck, or even a searchable Omnigate. Uh, the Sun Avalon package carries the full combo so hard and uses so much extra deck space, it's like playing Branded Dark Magician or Branded Blue Eyes Pure Cope. Uh, uh, let, let's, let's be clear here. Yeah, any deck can get support, okay? But when it comes to Rika and the fact that Sun Avalon pairs so good with Rika, does Rika on its own need support? Yes, on its own. But because there's also the Sun Avalon cards that pair with Rika, we already know that it's able to top uh, a different YCSs. And you know, sometimes it may not be. Sometimes it may not be the uh, deck itself. Sometimes I think it might just be the pilot. No offense, no offense, man. But sometimes it's really just being able to learn how to play the deck and then use what cards you have to play against other people's deck. Yes, I do think uh, it, Rika itself could use some support if you're playing it on its own. Uh, San Avalon with Rika, though, makes it incredibly powerful. So does it? I guess, sure. Uh, but that's just my opinion, though. I do think it's, uh, I think on its own, Rika could use a little bit of support. XX Sabres and Ritual Beasts are two of your favorites. The second one already has support, though, not Master Duel. True, it is going to get it eventually. Uh, and... Yeah, XX Sabers, they're an older archetype. They have some they have some pretty good uh, cards of their own. We did uh, get the uh, the one Xyz that does special out from deck. Uh, put back to one, though I don't think I've seen anybody actually do anything really with it. Maybe something to look into, I don't know. It's just that it's also locked into Earth Warrior and uh, Earth uh, Beast Warrior. So X Sabers, I guess they could use some, they definitely can use some support to help them get a lot of their older cards out. Or, or, uh, we just 
uh, make some new Earth Monster or Earth, well, Earth Warrior, Earth uh, Beast Warrior cards that'll actually bolster up the deck. I don't know, maybe that'll help out a bit. Mermail support is coming, so I guess some solid Gaia support would be nice. Mermail is gonna get some support very soon, that is true. Uh, and as for Gaia, Gaia, didn't Gaia get support kind of recently? Like, there's a whole structure deck that utilizes their new fusions and the fusion spells. Uh, I'm, I believe those are the Gaia cards you're talking about. That being said, Gaia on its own, it does uh, rely on, like, uh, it, it can, it does rely on a few other cards to be uh, strong on its own. I guess Gaia could use support. Then again, a lot of decks deserve some support. Uh, so I, I agree with you a little bit that Gaia could use a little bit of support just because it also is a it's a Yugi deck as well. But that being said, yeah, I do think uh, I think I think you're kind of right. But Mermail is getting support, and it's going to be very good, especially when it's going to be paired with a lot of other modern decks like Ice Jade, Ice Barrier, and um, Atlantean as well, which also is getting support. So yeah, that's a little bit of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this just a little bit right here. I'm trying to. Uh, reach out and be, you know, be a little bit more part of the community. Uh, there are some obvious cards that I think would be very, very strong. Uh, very, like, some very specific archetypes that would be very good if they just had a bit more support and people would love to play them. At least make them more fun than if you're just playing them as they are. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will be trying to do more of these different posts every now and then, so do please uh, comment, uh, because I will try to do some a little bit of reactions and even read all of them, as you did see. So if you want to see uh, or have your input put into a video, hey, just watch out for them posts and, you know, do a little bit of a comment. And I'll also be trying to put these on my Twitter account as well, so do check that out. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. So until next time, guys, take care.